Amazon River. It is a river located in South America. It is the largest river in the world in terms of its flow rate, as its flow rate exceeds the eight largest rivers in the world that follow it in the arrangement combined, and it is the second largest river in terms of size and depth. As the Nile River ranks first in terms of length, the Amazon has the largest drainage basin in the world, thus accounting for nearly a fifth of the world's total river flow. Parts of the Amazon are more than 190 kilometers, 120 miles, wide during the rainy season. Given its wideness, it is sometimes called the Sea River. The Amazon is not crossed by any bridges. The reason for this is not its breadth, its width is suitable for the capabilities of contemporary engineers to build bridges. Rather, the reason is that the bulk of the river's water flows through the tropical rainforests, which by their nature have few roads as well as cities, and therefore there is no need for any bridges. While the Amazon River is the most prolific river in the world, current data from the Geographical Society indicates that the Amazon is the second longest river in the world after the Nile. However, some scholars, especially from Brazil and Peru, argue about this. Discharge Area the Amazon Basin is the world's largest drainage basin, covering about 40% of South America, approximately 6,915,000 square kilometers, 2,670,000 square miles. Its waters gather from 5 degrees of northern latitude to 20 degrees of southern latitude. Its furthest reaches lie among the Andean Plateau, near the Pacific Ocean. The area covered by the waters of the Amazon River and its tributaries is more than three times the march of a year. The average land area covered by water during the dry season is 110,000 square kilometers, 42,000 square miles. The flood area of the Amazon Basin rises to 350,000 square kilometers, 135,000 square miles, during the rainy season. The Amazon pours a huge amount of water into the Atlantic Ocean, reaching 300,000 cubic meters per second during the rainy season. The Amazon supplies the world's oceans with about 20% of the total volume of fresh water. Away from the shore of the mouth of the Amazon, potable water can be extracted from the ocean far from the coast, and the salinity of the ocean is reduced 500 kilometers to the sea. Headwaters In the upper Amazon lies a series of major rivers in Peru and Ecuador. Some flow into the Marañón River. Others pour directly into the Amazon. Examples of these rivers are Morona, Pastaza, Nokorai, Yoritoyaku, Chambira, Tiger, Nanai, Nabu, Walaga, Ukayali. The main source of the Marañón, considered for many years to be the source of the Amazon, flows from the upper center of Lake Loricoca in Peru, from the glaciers known as the Nevado de Yoruba. Flowing through waterfalls and gorges in the high forest area called Pongo, the Marañón River flows 1,600 kilometers, 990 miles, from central west Peru to the northeast to unite with the Ucayali River, at the rural town of Nauta, to form the Amazon River. The furthest source of the Amazon waters was identified in 1996, 2001, in 2007 as an icy stream on snowy peaks of 5,597 meters, 18,360 feet. Nevado is located in the Andes Mountains of Peru, 160 kilometers, 99 miles, west of Lake Titicaca, and 700 meters, 430 miles, southeast of Lima. The water flows from the Nevado Mismi into the Quebradas Carasanta and Abaquita which empties into the Rio Aporomac a tributary of the Ucayali which unites with the Marañón to form the Amazon River. Although this point is considered by most geographers to be the starting point of the Amazon, in Brazil the river that lies at this point is known as Solimos das Aguas. Then the dark waters of the Rio Negro meet the sandy waters of the Rio Solimos and they go together for more than 6 kilometers, 4 miles, without their waters intermingling. After the confluence of the Rio Aporamac and Ucayali, the river leaves the Andean terrain to be surrounded by floodplains. The distance from this point to the Marañón is a forested and waterless 1,600 kilometers, 990 miles, flooded long before the river reached its flood limit. The low banks of the river are interrupted only by a few hills, 
and then the river passes the huge Amazon rainforest. The group of rivers and floodplains in Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia and Venezuela, the waters of which flow into the Solimos River and its tributaries, is called the Upper Amazon. The Amazon River runs through Brazil and Peru, and its tributaries reach Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador and Bolivia. Floods not all tributaries of the Amazon flood at the same time of the year. Flooding in many of them begins in November and may continue to increase until June. The Rio Negro flood begins in February or March, and begins to recede in June. The Madeira River usually floods and recedes two months earlier than most other Amazon rivers. During the height of the rainy season, the average depth of the river is 40 meters, 130 feet, and its average width is about 40 kilometers, 25 miles. The main river, 1 to 6 miles, 10 kilometers, wide, is navigable by large ocean liners to Manaus 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles, downstream. Small ocean-going vessels of between 3,000 and 9,000 tons and a hull of 5.5 meters, 18 feet, can reach Iquitos in Peru 3,600 kilometers, 2,200 miles, from the sea. Smaller boats can go as far as 780 kilometers, 480 miles, at Ashwal Point. Further afield, small boats ascend to Pongo de Mansuric, higher than Ashwal Point. Amazon Geography In some places for great distances, the river is divided into two main streams with internal and external channels. They are all connected by an intricate system of natural channels, which cross the depressions and flat lands of Ijabo, no more than 5 meters, 16 feet, high, to reach many of the islands. There is in the distance between the village of Canaria, which lies at the great bend of the Amazon, and the Negro only very low lands, similar to those of the mouth of the river. Large swaths of land in this region are submerged in water, so that only the tops of the dark forest trees are visible. Near the mouth of the Rio Negro to the municipality of Serpa, opposite the Madeira River, the banks of the Amazon are low, until, near Manaus, they rise into hills. Abidos has a cliff 17 meters, 56 feet, above the river, surrounded by low hills. The lowlands of the Amazon seem to have once been a gulf of the Atlantic Ocean, whose waters reach the cliffs near Abidos. About 10% of the Amazon's water reaches the main estuary downstream of the Abidos River and very little of it comes from the northern slope of the valley. The drainage area of the Amazon basin above Abidos is about 5 million square kilometers, 2 million square miles. The lowest is about 1 million square kilometers, 400,000 square miles, or about 20%, excluding 1.4 million square kilometers, 540,000 square miles, of the Tocantins Basin. The north bank at the lower reaches of the river consists of a steep ridge, which extends for about 240 kilometers, 150 miles, off the mouth of the Zengo River to Monte Alegre. This ridge cuts across an area of land lying between it and the river. On the south bank of the Zingo River there is a continuous series of low cliffs surrounding the floodplain and extending close to the city of Santarum in a series of curves before curving to the southwest, adjoining the Tapajos Low River, and then merging with the depressions that form the boundaries of the Tapajos River Valley. Amazon River Mouth Determining the location of the mouth of the Amazon River as well as its extent is still a matter of dispute, due to the unique geography of this region. Especially since the Pará River is sometimes considered within the river, and at other times it is considered just an independent low tributary of the Doconchins River. The mouth of the Bara River is 60 kilometers, 37 miles, wide. It is connected to the Amazon by a series of canals called Foros, near the town of Braves, and between them is the island of Morago, which is the size of the island of Switzerland, and it is the largest island in the world located between a river and a sea. If the Pará River and the ocean fronting Marjo Island are considered to be within the Amazon River, it would be 330 kilometers, 210 miles, wide. In this case, the width of the river mouth is measured from Cabo Norte in the Brazilian state of Amapá, to Pona de Chijuca near the town of Caroca, in the state of Pará. Consequently, the mouth of the Amazon is much wider than the length of the River Thames in England. Another measure excludes the mouth of the Pará River, 
and calculates the distance from the mouth of the Araguari River to Ponano Navio on the northern coast of Marjo, so that the mouth of the Amazon is 180 kilometers, 110 miles, wide. If the main channel is taken into account which lies between the islands of Kuroa, Amapá State, and Gurupari, Para State, the width decreases to 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles. But it still overcomes all the rivers in the world. The Phenomenon of Tidal Surge the tension between the river's thrust and the waves of the Atlantic Ocean causes a phenomenon called a tidal surge, which is a powerful tidal wave that rapidly flows from the sea into the mouth of the Amazon and nearby coastal rivers several times a year at high tide. This phenomenon occurs in other estuaries around the world, but the Amazon has one of the highest and fastest rivers in the world, perhaps second only to the Kuantang River in China. In the Amazon, this phenomenon is known as Poro Roca. This tide occurs especially when the depth does not exceed 7 meters, 23 feet. Begins with a very loud roar, constantly increasing, increasing at a rate of 15 to 25 kilometers per hour, 9 to 16 miles per hour, breaks a water barrier 1.5 to 4 meters, 5 to 13 feet, high and may traverse several kilometers of the Amazon and other nearby rivers mouth. This phenomenon often occurs in coastal rivers in the state of Amapá north of the mouth of the Amazon such as the Araguari River, and can also be seen in the Para Rivers. This phenomenon causes the delta of the Amazon River to not appear, as the ocean quickly carries away the silt of the Amazon, which does not provide an opportunity for the emergence of a delta. The area also has very high tides, sometimes as high as 6 meters, 20 feet, which has made it a popular place for river surfing. Wildlife More than a third of the world's land animal species live in the Amazon rainforest, a giant tropical forest that together with its river basin covers an area of more than 5.4 million square kilometers, 2,100,000 square miles, and is one of the richest tropical forests in the world. The Amazon River contains more than 3,000 known species of fish and this number is still growing. In some estimates, the number reaches 5,000 species. As in the case of the Orinoco River, the Amazon is one of the main habitats of the Poto, also known as the Amazon River Dolphin, Inia geofrensis. It is one of the largest species of river dolphin, reaching a length of 2.6 meters, 8.5 feet. The Poto is the hero of a legend popular in Brazil which says that there was a dolphin that transformed into a man and seduced women on the side of a river. There is another type of dolphin called Tocosi, Cetalia fluviatilis, which is found in the rivers of the Amazon basin and in the coastal waters of South America. There are also large numbers of piranhas, carnivorous fish that gather in large schools, and may attack livestock and even humans. But there are a few types of them that attack humans, and there are also many fish that eat fish, but they live alone and not in flocks. And the bull shark, Carchianus lucus, which travels 4,000 kilometers, 2,500 miles, from the Amazon River in Iquitos, Peru. The Arapaima, known in Brazil as the Pararuco, Arapaima higus, is a tropical freshwater fish native to South America. It is one of the largest freshwater fish in the world, with a length of more than 3 meters, 9.8 feet, and a weight of up to 200 kilograms, 440 pounds. The arowana, or arowana in Brazil, Osteoglossum bicerosum, is another freshwater fish that lives in the Amazon. It is also a predatory fish and is very similar to the arapaima, but reaches a maximum length of 120 centimeters. Kandiru is a parasitic freshwater catfish of the family Trichomycteridae, all of these species are native to the Amazon River. They sometimes attack humans, and have been known to enter the urethra of swimmers. The electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, is found in the Amazon River Basin. Anaconda snake, lives in the shallow waters of the Amazon Basin. It is one of the largest species of snakes in the world, spending most of its time in the water with its gills above the surface of the water. The river contains thousands of species of fish. So is crab and algae, and turtles, colonies and Amazons. During what many archaeologists call the formative period, Amazonian societies participated in the emergence of agricultural systems in the highlands of South America. It may have directly contributed to the establishment of the social and religious fabric of the Andean civilization. In 1500, Vicente Jans Pinzon was the first European to navigate the river. Pinzon named the river Rio Santa Maria del Mar Dulce, later shortened to Mar Dulce, meaning Sweet Sea, since it pours fresh water into the ocean. 
350 years after Benzone's first European discovery of the Amazon, the Portuguese part of the basin remained neglected, previously gathered for food and cultivated by indigenous people who had survived European diseases. There is ample and widespread evidence of the existence of pre-Columbian social formations, such as chiefdoms in much of the Amazon, particularly inter-river regions, as well as large municipalities and cities. For example, the pre-Columbian culture on the island of Marajú had defined social classes with a population of 100,000. The Native Americans of the Amazon rainforest may also have used a type of fertilizer called terra preta to make the land arable on a large scale to meet the needs of the large population, as well as complex social formations such as sheepdoms. Francisco de Orellana, one of the lieutenants of explorer Gonzalo Pizarro, went on an expedition in 1541 east of Quito in South America in search of El Dorado and the country of Cinnamon. He was then tasked with reconnoitering the Coca River and returning when the river ended. When they reached the confluence with the Napo River, his men threatened him with mutiny if they did not continue with the journey. On December 26, 1541, he agreed to be elected head of the new expedition to conquer new lands in the king's name. Then the 49 men began building a larger ship suitable for river navigation. While navigating the Napo River they came under constant threat from the Amagos. On June 3, 1542 they reached the Negro River. Finally, they reached the Amazon River, which was given this name because they claimed that they had been attacked by fierce warriors such as the legendary Amazons. The people of Icamiapa controlled an area near the Amazon River that was rich in gold. When Oreana went to search for gold in the river, in 1541, the Amazon was called Grand Rio, Big River, Mar Dulce, Sweet Sea, of, Water. Or Rio de la Canela, Cinnamon River in view of the huge cinnamon trees Oreana claimed to have found there. Although it is an Asian plant impossible to grow in the wild in South America in the 16th century. Oreana told the story of the victory of the Acamiaba warrior against the Spanish invaders over King Carlos V, who was inspired by the Greek Amazons. He called the river Amazonas, a name that is still known in the Spanish and Portuguese languages. Now all of Brazil, Ecuador, Bolivia, Colombia, Peru, Venezuela, and a number of colonial and religious settlements. It was established on the banks of major rivers and tributaries for the purpose of trade, slave trade and proselytizing among the indigenous people of the Great Rainforest. The total population of the Brazilian part of the Amazon basin in 1850 was about 300,000. Two-thirds of them consisted of Europeans and slaves, numbering about 25,000 slaves. The city of Pará, now Belém, the main trading city in the Brazilian Amazon, had a population of between 10,000 and 12,000, including slaves. The city of Manaus, now Manaus, which lies at the mouth of the Rio Negro, has a population of between 1,000 and 1,500. The rest of the villages, such as Tabachinga, which is located on the border between Brazil and Peru, were small. Post-colonial history. On September 6, 1850, Emperor Pedro II enacted a law allowing steamship navigation in the Amazon, and commissioned Viscount Mao, Irenio Evangelista de Souza, to implement this law. So he organized a commercial navigation campaign in the Amazon in Rio de Janeiro in 1852, and the following year he started a campaign with three small ships, Monarch, Morago, Rio Negro. At first, navigation was confined to the main river, and until 1857 the contract with the government was amended, obligating the company to make a monthly voyage between Para and Manaus, using cargo steamers of 200 tons. Then there was a second line that made six trips a year back and forth between Manaus and Tabatinga, as well as a third line, making two trips a month between Para and Camita. That was the first step in opening up the vast interior regions. The success of the project drew attention to the opportunities to exploit the Amazon economically. Immediately a second company set up to trade in Madeira, Poros, and Negro. And a third created a line between Bara and Manus. A fourth found it profitable to navigate small rivers. In the same period, Amazonas Company increased its fleet. Meanwhile, some individuals began building and operating their own small steamboats on the main river as well as its many tributaries. On July 31, 1867, the Brazilian government fell under constant pressure from the maritime powers, as well as the countries surrounding the upper Amazon basin, especially Peru. 
So I decreed the opening of the Amazon to all countries. But this was limited to specific points on each river. Tabatinga in the Amazon. River. Kamita in Tocantins. Santrum in Tapajos. Borba in Madeira. Manaus in the Rio Negro. This decree took effect on September 7, 1867. Thanks in part to the commercial development associated with steamboat navigation, as well as the global need for natural rubber, 1880-1920. Manaus, Belém, in Brazil, Iquitos, and Peru became amazing and thriving global centers of commerce, albeit newly urbanized. As is the case for Iquitos, especially during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the rubber bonanza reached its peak when this overseas boomtown was known as St. Louis the Amazon. The first direct foreign trade began with Manaus in 1874. The internal trade along the river was carried out by the English successors to the Amazons. Amazon Steam Navigation Company. As well as many small ships belonging to companies and institutions working in the field of rubber trade. Sail the Negro, Madeira, Peru and many other tributaries, such as the Marignon to ports as far away as Nauta, Peru. The Amazon Steam Navigation Company had 38 ships. By the turn of the 20th century, it was the main export of the Amazon Basin. Landian rubber. Cocoa. Brazil nuts. And few other products are of such minor importance as resin. Tree bark. And woven hammocks. Precious bird feathers. Live animals, etc. As well as extracted goods such as lumber. Gold, etc. 20th century fears. Four centuries after the European discovery of the Amazon River, the total cultivated area of its basin is probably less than 65 square kilometers, 25 square miles. Except for the limited cultivated areas between the mountains upstream. This situation changed radically during the 20th century. In order to guard against foreign exploitation of the nation's resources, Brazilian governments in the 1950s developed inland regions, away from the coast, where large tracts of land were owned by foreigners. This expansion was initiated by Chief Architect Getulio Vargas, as the Allied forces' need for rubber during World War II helped provide the necessary funding. The construction of the new capital of Brazil in the interior in 1960 contributed to the opening up of the Amazon Basin. On a large scale, the colonization program saw families from northeastern Brazil relocated to the forests, encouraged by promises of cheap land. Numerous settlements occurred along the road from Brasilia to Belém, but the rainforest soil proved difficult to cultivate. Long-term development plans are still ongoing. The roads cut through the forests, and in 1970, work began on the main road network through the Amazon, Trans-Amazonica. Work on the three main lines of this network was completed within 10 years, but it did not fulfill its promise, as large parts of these roads, as well as the roads branching from them. Like the road PR 319, Manaus, Porto Villo, is deserted and impassable during the rainy season. Dispute regarding the length of the river. While the debate over whether the Amazon or the Nile is the longest river in the world has gone on for many years, the historical statement of the geographical authorities states that the Amazon is the second longest river in the world after the Nile. However, many geographers have measured the length of the Amazon to be between 6,259 and 6,800, 3,889 minus 4,225 miles long. The length of the Nile has also been reported to range from 5,499 to 6,690 kilometers, 3,417 to 4,157. Differences in these measurements often result from the use of different definitions. A study by Brazilian scientists claimed that the Amazon River is actually longer than the Nile. By measuring the Nevado Mismi, which the National Geographic Society identified in 2001 as the source of the Amazon, these scientists provided new calculations for measuring the length of the Amazon. They now estimate that the Amazon is longer than the Nile, Guido Gelli, director of science at the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics, told Globo TV in June 2007 saying that the Amazon is the longest river in the world. Other geographers have also come across the same data since 2001, so a statement is emerging that supports the claims of Brazilian scientists.